women. Hype bitch, we know about you. Don't buy shoes unless the pop you play. What's up everyone? So in this video, what I'm gonna be talking to you guys about is what I what I wanna do next with my car and what I have next coming up for you guys. So for this car next, what I wanna do is to do the RV6 J pipe, the high flow, uh, high flow cats, and uh, the mid pipe. The reason why I wanna do the mid pipe by RV6 is because I took out my resonator and if I don't install a mid pipe with installing those two other components, my car is going to rasp and I truly do not want that at all uh, but yeah this is going to be a short video I just want to give you guys a quick couple of updates of what I want to do and what I have coming for you guys it is a surprise um, so what I also want to do is I want to get new seats for my car I want to do bucket seats I want to make it into a full track car now um, try to make it into a track car or like make it a fun daily track car I guess whatever um, race cars, race car. Um, I want to do new bucket seats for this car, um, but I want to do like leather. Like I like the leather that I currently have in the car. I really do enjoy it. Looks nice, stuff like that. But I've looked online. There are a few leather bucket seats that are out there. There are some. I want. I'm thinking about getting natural brown, the color, or stick with black, or maybe even go like with red to go with the whole black and red color scheme I have for the car. I also, because my thing is, like, if I do the front two seats, if I if I get new color seats for the front, I'm going to have to reupholster my rear seats for sure then. But if I sit with black, it's going to blend in perfectly fine with the rear seats. Um, but then again, reupholstering is not going to, it's not, it's not much, but it's just like more, this is another thing I would have to do. Um, another thing is, like, I don't know if you guys know anybody, I, I'm in the Dallas area, but I don't know if y'all know anybody in the Dallas area that can do a roll cage for a newer car. Like for this car, I want to I want to put a roll cage in it or like uh maybe like a harness bar or something like that. Um, but I know it's gonna have to be custom made because there's nothing really out there for 2015. Um, not that I've seen, but like if y'all have anything, D uh, message me on Instagram or comment below if you have any any kind of input about it or know anybody like that can actually make it like through other states but ship it be able to ship it to me or anything like that that'd be awesome um another surprise that i have coming for y'all guys is we're looking into or i'm like i'm looking into buying another project car like for honda like you know it's a honda like it's i'm having fun i'm enjoying it there's a lot more things i'm coming and putting into this car this is my daily car that i bought uh, to get to and from school to and from work uh, but then again, I end up starting doing a lot more mods to it. But I want to get another project car because why not? Uh, so the car that I'm looking into is game is going to be an Audi. Uh, I want to get the Audi A4, but the S the S line. Uh, and the reason why I want to get that because that's a turbo and it just it looks nice. It, like it has a perfect grill. I'm not trying to do a new car. I'm trying to do a used car. Um, looking like maybe like a 2004 to 2008. I'm looking at the 2008 primarily because I want that one because it's a good price. And then there's like a, quite a bit of a few months I can do to that. And I just want to make like maybe like a VIP car or like you know just make it into a sleeper. Who knows? Um, but first I'm just trying to get the car. I like the car, the body style of it. I've always wanted an Audi, so I'm looking into buying an Audi. Um, once I get that. We're gonna be doing a full maintenance on that, making sure everything's stripped, everything's clean, stuff like that. Um, new tires, whatever. I'm gonna keep y'all posted for that. Um, again, this was a short video, but another couple of things I wanna do with the car is I definitely wanna do the new seats. Maybe uh, I wanna do a roll cage, but if I, because if I, I feel like if I get, if I do a bucket seats, like I don't wanna use the normal. Uh, seat belts that come with the car I want to do the 5.1 harness and like the best way to do that is with the roll cage or a harness bar but like I need I mean, I, I'm gonna need that for if I do bucket seats um I am maybe 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 wanting to get rid of my coils and bagging my car um the only thing is like I need someone to buy my coils in order for me to uh back get a back in for my car but like the coils I have are the BC Racing ones with Springs. I've only put about maybe a thousand miles on them. Uh, they run great, no issues at all. But I might be selling it to one of my friends who has an Accord. It's like 2013, 2014. Um, because it's going to transfer this car. So I may be just doing that. Who knows? But like, I'm just like, I'm just going with the flow as the times comes. 
Uh, right now I have school, work, stuff like that, but I, it's just a lot of times going by fast, that's it. Um, but yeah, those are a couple of few mods I have coming up, uh, or wanting to do. If you have any inputs about what you recommend or what you think would be best for this car, or what you, or if you had an experience, or if you even have any kind of, uh, suggestions for what to do with the Audi like if you have any kind of tidbits or tricks or know or have experience or know anyone that has experience or um, has an Audi that they've done mods to send them my way or like comment below or like message me on Instagram so that way I can get a little tips and tricks on because I've never worked on an Audi or, or it's, I feel like that's going to be a whole new learning curve and a whole new process for me. Another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys or get an opinion from you guys about is this is like one of another future mods I want to do. It's like, what do you guys think about an LED headlight lamp? Like, like the, the bulb, like the LED, LED bulb for the low beam. Uh, right now I currently have like an HID ballast kit for my car. Um, it was like 40 bucks for it. That's not bad, but like, I don't know. I want something still a little more brighter, a little more powerful, you know, something like that. Um, it's not bad. Like what I have is like the 5,000 K like that. The, uh, and it's nice. Like it's bright. But like, I kind of want, I kind of want, I maybe like want something that's gonna last a little longer. Cause like the ballast kit that I've got, like if I have issues with it, like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. I don't know if it's like, if it's cheap that I bought like a, a forty dollar ballast kit for my lot, my car. I don't know if it's that, but I do want to get potentially an LED LED bulb. I've noticed that they come with like a little fan on the back. I don't know if people had experience like with LED bulbs, like how long they will last, or um, if the fan on them ever breaks with due to vibration of the car. Like since the car is like on coils, it's a lot stiffer and it bounces bounces more. I don't know if that's gonna affect the fan on the LED bulb. But comment below, let me know what y'all think. But uh, I'm looking forward for that. But yeah, like. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think. Um, but yeah, again, this was a short video. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Uh, stay tuned. Please subscribe, share, and like. I'll catch you guys soon. See you guys.